knife dope. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Got one that uh, touched down today. Today being September 9th, 2023. The year of our Lord and Savior. And I'm excited about this one. Uh, this one was actually one that I had just recently considered purchasing for myself. Uh, but I opted for a different knife. So I get the best of both worlds. Didn't have to buy it. And I get to check it out. God, this life is good. Um, this one was actually sent to me by Casey uh, from Knives Fast, uh, otherwise known as Tempest Knives. So big thanks to him. If you're not following him, give him a shot. Uh, but in reference to Tempest Knives, Tempest Knives does still have some micro bursts uh, that are available on his website. And uh, some of y'all might not know, but it is actually a really good knife. Fantastic price. Uh, so if you're in the market for a affordable EDC, give that microburst a shot. I think you'll be thoroughly impressed. Okay, enough of that. Today's unboxing knife is a classic. Uh, one that I have neglected quite a bit. Um, I just don't find enough time for it. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. But it is the Spyderco Capara. Super slicey as a fuck. Uh, compression lock apparatus, contoured uh, carbon fiber scales. This is a winner. Uh, so let's get to it. But first, if you do enjoy the content, I'd ask that you would share, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. God damn it. It does help the channel. It does trick that algorithm. And it does help your boy to go viral. Okay, enough of that. Still working on the viral. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got Kaiser in the building. That's right. Uh, so we got a good one coming. Um, for those of y'all who might not know behind the scenes... Kaiser is currently undergoing quite a bit of changes to the staff. They've actually lost quite a bit of talent, uh, in my honest opinion. Uh, first, they lost Vu. Shout out to the Vu man. Then they lost Damon, who was their uh, head designer. And they also lost Crazy K. So it's going to be interesting to see what Kaiser does going forward. Um, but enough about the politics. Whenever you see these coffin-style boxes coming from Kaiser... It's their premium side of things. Uh, the one we're taking a look at today is one of their newest drops. Uh-oh, we got a new sticker too. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Kaiser cares, allegedly. Yeah, Kaiser does care. I I'll give them that. They do a lot of outreach to the uh, community. They, you know, they're open to feedback. They're very engaging. So they're they're doing things right. Now this one. Oh, shit. This is the uh, Paul Munko designed Mystic. For those of you guys who might not know, uh, Paul Munko is a knife designer as well as he, I know he does like graphics, graphic designs and stuff. I think he's like into the comics and whatnot. He's got that website called Colorful Filth. So you can go there and, and kind of, you know, dive down the rabbit hole. Uh, this one comes in at $169. This is actually his third collaboration with Kaiser. I know uh, one of the other knives he did was the Comet, which was popular as well. And he also most recently did a uh, PM2 that had this gorgeous zombie motif on it. I think I saw that at Blade Show. Uh, Close length on this comes in at 5.04 inches. Uh, it is deployed via one of two ways. You've got this front flipper. Nice snappy detent. Look at that action. And you also have these thumb studs. Now, this blade shape is actually a harpoon-inspired knife design uh, from Paul. And the name Mystic, uh, he came up with that name, basically was inspired by uh, a town called Mystic, Connecticut. Uh, this was a town that he visited in his youth quite a bit. It's actually uh, an old uh, historical New England whaling and shipbuilding town. And uh, he made this blade shape basically to reflect the curves and utilitarian features uh, of the hunting harpoons from the 1800s. If you go to his website, he's actually got a picture of one of those harpoons, and it's, it's crazy when you see them side by side. Uh, but right out the gate, 
Probably the most uh, impressive feature on this knife is the blade steel. Uh, for the first time that I've known outside of Spyderco, uh, the Kaiser is using Rex 45. Now I don't have no experience with Rex 45. I don't have any knives in that steel, but I've always heard good things about it. So it's gonna be interesting to see uh, how this steel holds up. Overall length on this is coming in at 8.78 inches. So we've got a full size knife for sure. And then some uh, blade length came in at 3.74. Uh, we've got this beautiful, they call it a clip point. I'm going to call it a, a heart point, a little bit of harpoon and clip point mixed. Beautiful stone wash finish, which Kaiser has always uh, been able to bang out. Minimal billboarding. We've got that customary Kaiser logo on the show side. And then we've got the Paul Munko logo on the lock side. Our handles are uh, titanium with this beautiful linen micarta inlay. It appears to be like a green color. Nice transition from the titanium to the uh, micarta. Both sides of the knife. The um, tons of access to disengage that lock. And that action is world renowned. We know Kaiser gives us some of the best action, hands down. Uh, 3D mill titanium pocket clip is right hand tip up carry only. There is a uh, about a quarter length back spacer, titanium as well. And they've got that integrated lanyard post for the weirdos. Mm -mm -mm. Those weirdos will never be never be out of my life, apparently. Uh, overall weight on this comes in at 4.43 ounces. And we've got a blade stock thickness of 12 hundredths of an inch. Not sure if I told you guys the length of the blade, but it is 3.74. Ergonomically, I'm digging this. Um, I did, you know, the main reason why I didn't pull the trigger on this one was when I saw the specs. I saw that it was almost, you know, fucking nine inches. So I was like, eh, I'll pass. But now that I have it in hand, uh, even though it is nine inches, man, it does feel nice in the hand. You know, it really does. I will give them that. Uh, they also went ahead and gave us that same linen micarta on these uh, pivot collars, both sides of the knife. We've got T8 in the pivot, T6 is on the body. Yeah, Paul Munko does what he's doing. He really does. And I think uh, thus far, this is probably my favorite design coming from him. Let's put up a couple of uh, comparisons to give you guys a better idea on the size of this thing. Basically a little bit of knife flexing. You know how I like to do. Coming in hot, we got the OG in the building. That's right. Sharif Manganis' Ruckus. So we can see here that the Ruckus is uh, quite a bit smaller than the uh, Mystic. Next up, another fantastic offering from Kaiser. And this is going to be the Jacob Lundquist collaboration, which is the Kaiser Veritas. So the Mystic is also bigger than that. Let's do a couple more, shall we? Keeping that uh, harpoon theme, we're going to go with this one. A recent knife that came across this table, which I am enjoying, and that's the QSP Hornbill. So once again, that Mystic is bigger than that. Next up, a legendary knife in its own right. We're talking about the Spyderco Spidey Chef. So still no match for the overall size of that Mystic. Let's do two mo. God damn it. Two mo. Gotta bring you some American dope for that palette. You know how we like to do. The legendary Hinderer Eclipse. Fully modded, of course. And still no match for the overall size of the Mystic. Last but certainly not least, big girls need loving too. And there's none bigger in my collection than this Spyderco Subvert. So I think we finally got one that uh, is bigger than the Mystic. Well, what do you people think? I'll tell you what I think. I like this goddamn thing. Now, uh, stay tuned because in the next day or two, I will be actually receiving the knife that I opted to go with over this one. And it is also a... Uh, actually, I ain't going to tell you shit. You're going to have to wait and see. But I think for the price, what they're giving us here, Rex 45, Titanium Bolsters... Kaiser's great action, their fit and finish. I think you, know, you can't go wrong, you know? $169, people. I would, uh, I would co-sign this one for sure. Let me know what you fuckers think. Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time, cut something, cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!